some people who've been listening have been sending me questions and texting me about my concepts of free Wi-Fi. On the one hand, a company feels like they're entitled to say who can and can't use their networks. On the other hand, they sort of have the arrogance of be and presumption that people only use their networks to shop for their products in their store and on their website, and that's not true. Every human being is trying to take advantage of how they can use their minutes for their lives, for their families. And if you're offering that support to their family, they're going to value a lot more than an anal retentive company that wants to monitor and interfere with people's use of Wi-Fi. At the same time, because we have a lot of impoverished people in the community, you are not helping them one bit if you lock them out or interfere with their interactions on any aspect of internet, whether it be social media, whether it be job research, whether it be job hunt, whether it be any type of looking up anything for their own education and edutainment. And the truth is most people don't sit on a Wi-Fi network and watch movies too much. So the reality is you have to decide, what do we want our PR and our company pride to be? That we actually help people to do their business or we impede people with our arrogant employees who really have no technological accountabilities to interfere with people. You see, any story can be shaped and misshapen and tainted at any time. But an employee that's trying to get out of a problem that they presume is a problem for their company can often put their company and their corporation and themselves into further legal liability. Companies can sue employees for doing things outside their job description that have nothing to do with the technical aspects of pursuing employment or serving corporations. This is the first layer. You see, a company is responsible for disproving a complaint or a feedback form. They should first evaluate it. Not at all. They should first assess the employee. Because what we know about feedback, especially if it's negative or even positive, is that it represents 250 people in a community that maybe the spouting off of an employee wasn't the first time they did it. And maybe it was a unique situation, but... How do you determine that if you never send in secret choppers for your own company? They can be relatives of you, they can be friends of yours if you like, but they have to have some premise of what it, the experience should and shouldn't be like based on their own interactions in the local community, in the local kind of concept of so society. But at the same time, companies are always trying to grow. So cities are always trying to uh, prolificate. And we cannot prolificate and improve a city if we're not helping employees to know what is and isn't appropriate in terms of their moral behavior on the job. In life, we have most of the time to speak the truth. And while customers do have the lawful right as being an individual unique person to be a little bit immoral in their conversation with someone, especially if they feel they're being insulted or they're being emoted at or just being treated unfavorably or discriminatively, to get a little upset. On the reverse side of that, employees do not have the right to do that and they do not have the right to tell customers off. And young people are very quick, particularly of certain demographic specificities, to do that. We see that almost every day as an immorality in our society that whites and blacks of all ages, not at all, but of certain undereducated uh, people, not at all, but of people's children, basically have these problems where they think they have the right to tell someone off who's a stranger, flick someone off who's a stranger, insult someone who's a stranger, and do it without any problem. In those moments of time, those youthful people who are still residing with their parents or their guardians have failed to recognize the business of their family, that the business of their family is to avoid lawsuits that the business of their family is to get as much education as they can so they may go on to a work environment, they may go on to a career that actually provide, provides for them. And enablement or intolerance is not something that a parent can really tolerate. 